Hey guys, Metal Driver 89 here bringing you a double WWE Elite review. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the WrestleMania Elite series, Mick Foley and Booker T. The sides of the boxes feature an image of each wrestler on both sides. The back of the boxes feature an image of the wrestler, stats, career highlights, a description of this figure, which you can go ahead and pause and read that up if you'd like, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, now that we have looked at the boxes, let's go ahead and open these figures up and take a closer look at Booker T and Mick Foley. Alright, and here we have Booker T and Mick Foley out of the packaging, but first let's take a closer look at the accessories that they come with. So Mick Foley comes with two interchangeable open grip hands and the torso to the Danny Davis build a referee figure. Booker T comes with two interchangeable pointing hands, an extra grip hand, and an extra open palm hand. Booker T also comes with the legs and arms of the Danny Davis build a referee figure. Alright, so let's go ahead and put these pieces together. Alright, so here we have the almost completed Danny Davis referee figure. So I'll go ahead and complete this once I open up the other two figures, so I'll put this aside for now. So first I want to go ahead and look at the Mick Foley figure. Alright, here we have Mick Foley's head scan, and I gotta say, <laughs> this is not a very good looking head scan. I, I really don't like this. So aside from the uh, head scan not looking too great, uh, his hair looks okay. It's got the curls. Um, the detailing looks nice, but I just, I really don't like this head scan. But it is nice that we have something new. So looking at the rest of the body, He's wearing his Cactus Jack t-shirt, which looks okay. I'm not a big fan of this plastic shirt. We have seen something like this before with uh, the Cactus Jack figure. I would prefer a soft goods, or even if this were a articulated body part. We have the flannel jacket, which looks decent. There are some paint splotches here and there, but it's nothing too major. It does look um, different as far as the paint apps on this. The um, black lines are thicker. So if you look at the previous Cactus Jack figure, you can see that there is a clear difference with the pattern on the flannel jacket, so that looks nice. And then even looking at the Cactus Jack logo, um, I want to say the this one looks better than the new one, but... The detailing looks good. Doesn't look like there are any paint smudges on the lettering. It just it does look it's it does look like it's been kind of uh, smushed together a bit. The lower legs do not feature any paint. It's just solid black plastic, and you've got the white boots. So not a lot of whole detailing on this figure. He does have his Cactus Jack pointing fingers, which is really cool. I do like this. So I'm glad we got that. The tape is painted on the hands and the wrist. So overall, the figure itself looks pretty decent. It's just I don't like this head scan. All right, now looking at Booker T, the head scan turned out very well on this. I love the detailing on his face. The beard looks very good. The eyes came out very nice. They're centered. does seem like there's slight mispaint. Or missing paint on the eyebrow and I can't tell if there's a uh, missing plastic on the nose but other than that the head scan looks really good the dreads look really nice get that tattoo on the back of his neck there so that looks good he does have his tattoos on his shoulders which in my opinion don't look that great it's nice that they're there and painted however it just looks it looks like they're one of those uh, temporary tattoos, so it doesn't look that realistic. The trunks look really good, so these are the white trunks that he wore at WrestleMania 19. So the logo on the front came out very well. Don't see any missing paint or any paint splotches. The back of the trunks look really good as well. Again, doesn't really seem like there are any paint smudges. Maybe just a minor one there on the O. Then you've got... Booker T on the side of the boots, which again look very good on both sides. There's a little bit of extra paint here on the boot, but 
I'm sure I could easily fix that. So overall, the Booker T figure looks really good. I'm very impressed with how this turned out. And I'm very glad we got this version of Booker T. It looks like a solid representation of the Ruthless Aggression Era Booker T. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go over the articulation on Booker T. So it's standard elite articulation, so his head can swivel side to side, can go slightly up, not very far due to the hair, and it can go that far down. The shoulders are on a hinge, which allows it to go that far out, and it could rotate all the way around. There is a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. There is an ab crunch, which allows it to go that far down that far back. There is a swivel at the waist. The hips are on a ball joint which allows it to go that far out, that high up, and there is a cut at the thigh. He does have double jointed knees, however the knee pad does hinder articulation. There is a cut at the boot. The ankles hinge down and they can go that far up, and there is slight ankle pivot. Alright, going over the articulation on Mick Foley. So his head can swivel slightly, so it is a bit stiff. It cannot go high up at all. In fact, it doesn't even move up due to the plastic on the hair. And it can barely go down. There is a hinge at the shoulder, which allows it to go that high up. It can rotate all the way around. It has a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, which gives you a good 90 degrees. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. He does have an ab crunch, but it is hindered due to the plastic shirt. So again, not a big fan of this shirt, but we have seen this before. There is a swivel at the waist. He has ball joints on the hips, which allows it to go that far out, that high up. There is a thigh cut, double jointed knee, which has very good range. There is a swivel at the top of the shoe, a hinge that allows it to go that far down on the ankle, that high up and he does have ankle pivot. And here we have the new Mick Foley figure standing next to a few other Mick Foley figures that have been released by Mattel. And I would showcase a side-by-side -side comparison with Booker T and a couple previous other Booker T figures, but unfortunately I do not own them. So this is my only Booker T figure that I currently own. So what are my final thoughts on the new Mick Foley and Booker T action figure? As far as Booker T goes, I think this is a fantastic figure. I absolutely love how this turned out. It looks great. As I said, this is a excellent representation of the Ruthless Aggression era version of Booker T. So I think this figure is a definite pickup for any WWE Elite collector out there. Now, as far as Mick Foley goes, um, I mean, the figure itself... Is it bad? It's just the head scan to me, It's it really hurts the figure. I like that Mattel gave us something new, something different. However, I don't think it was executed very well on this one. Uh, I do like that he has his uh, bang bang finger gestures, so that's really cool. But the head scan really hurts it for me. So unless you're a big Mick Foley fan, I think this is a figure you could probably pass on. Or if you want to build the Danny Davis referee figure, then you might want to pick this up. So if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you would like to see more WWE Elite reviews, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more future reviews. As always, stay tuned till the end to see pictures of these figures in action. And I'll see you next time.